It's, it's very likely that it, can, that it will do something, but what that something is, there could be many different ways to do it. I don't think that anyone is suggesting or anyone is imagining a, a, any kind of full-scale invasion. But the Pakistani army has to understand that it has picked a fight which is really not in Pakistan's interest. I can understand people getting all nationalistic and patriotic and there's a great deal of anti-American sentiment in the US, but if you step back and look at this rationally, this is simply not in Pakistan's interest. Pakistan is effectively playing chicken with the world's only superpower. It's, 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 a, daft, it's a daft thing to do. Right. Well, but the U.S. is playing chicken also yeah. with the Pakistanis, aren't in, they? In line yeah. with yes. what, uh, also. In so line line what go ahead, uh, saying, Mr. Go Chaudhry, ahead. what does Pakistan fear the most at this time? A cut in military aid or probably military action? Because remember, the U.S. has the capability to surprise us in the case of uh, the raid on Osama bin Laden in Abbottabad. Well, look, I mean, if, if, they have, if there are identifiable targets uh, that are available, for example, something uh, in the same uh, reign as uh, Osama bin Laden, you talk about Zawari or somebody else, I think the Pakistani intelligence and the Pakistani military would be equally keen to go in and do what uh, both sides must do. Uh, one point that I wish to make here is, it is time for the United States or within the United States for the politics to take over rather than let the military continue to run uh, the, 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 the direction of policy in Afghanistan. That's something that we in Pakistan sense uh, quite uh, sharply, okay. that there's been a change of how the policy is being uh, suggested and spoken of in, in Washington. And, and thirdly, is it, is, it, is, it is the American way, it is the American way that must take over, which is a lot of political sense in what America must do and what Pakistan must do. If we let the militaries do the talking, uh, the unfortunately, that's going to be a wrong type of a talk. Okay, right. uh, Reza, if I could, uh, here, I'm going to get a final you, thought sorry. from our guest. We only have a few minutes left for us. I'm just going to get a final uh, sort of few uh, questions from our guests. Um, uh, Mr. Duma, I just want to ask you this. What do you think is bound to happen now? Uh, the pressure is on on both sides. As you said, the pressure has gotten to sort of a crisis situation. What do you think will happen now? A surgical strike inside Pakistan, a drone strike? How do you see this playing out? I don't know exactly what will happen, but I would be very surprised if it's not one or the other. Um, if Pakistan sort of doesn't budge, if we continue to see belligerent statements from, from Islamabad, I would be very surprised if there, is not, uh, there are not either stepped up drone strikes or depending on what kind of intelligence is available, some kind of pinpoint incursion. Um, I think that really that sort of ups the ante and at that point Pakistan has to make a very simple decision. Is this in its interest? Is it in its interest to be in a confrontational mode or is it in its interest to understand that the U.S aspiration in Afghanistan ultimately is just to stabilize the country right. is, is, is it's acting in good faith in the region and if Pakistan can turn its attention inwards to economic development and a reasonable foreign right. policy I think a lot of these conflicts will disappear. Mr. Cohen is this, uh, is this something that the United States wants to uh, engage in a surgical strike or a drone strike or even boots on the ground Pakistan provoking what some uh, are saying would be a massive reaction from Pakistan? No, they don't, which is one of the reasons why I don't, I, I'm a little suspicious of what Admiral Mullen said. I'm, I'm actually surprised my colleague's comments. I mean, if that were to happen, if he's correct, there'd be a surgical strike. I think it would pretty much destroy, the, not destroy, but it would do enormous damage to the U.S.-Pakistani relationship in the near term and would, would create what would basically be, you know, more of an open conflict between the two sides. So, I, I mean, I, I like his optimism. I wish I was that optimistic. But to my mind, what I, it looks like that we've opened up a can of worms here without a very clear sense of what to do next. I, I think... Any U.S. incursion into Pakistan as a response to uh, uh, actions by the Akai network would be a disaster for U.S. policy, disaster for Pakistan. And in fact, what actually, I mean, this is the crazy thing about this, you know, our relationship with Pakistan is much more important than our relationship with Afghanistan. In the long run, the U.S. and Pakistan have a lot of critical national interests, in, uh, shared interests. Um, and we have interest in seeing Pakistan remain stable. Th that we are ratcheting up uh, the, the war of wars with Pakistan uh, in support of a failed policy in Afghanistan, to me, is it doesn't make any sense at all. Right. And if anything, we should be accommodating Pakistan as opposed to trying to, to, to up the ante, which I think, which I, I mean, look, I support, I understand the frustration behind upping the ante with Pakistan, but, you know, there is, what is the next step in this process? And I'm not, I'm a little more, uh, I think, um, suspicious or, or, or concerned that things are not going to turn out so right. well if, if we do have to ratchet things right. up. Right, that's unfortunately all the time we have for over here in Washington. Vikas, I'm going to uh, leave with a question to your guests and that is this, sort of the flip side of that is, well, if the U.S. were to do something, how would Pakistan react? I'm going to leave your guests to answer this, uh, but from here in Washington, I'm going to thank our guests here and your guests over there and it's good night from here. Right.
Thank you, Reza, and thank you uh, to your guests also. And uh, you wanted to react to what was being said, uh, right? I just want to say that good sense should prevail. This is not time uh, between uh, to fight a fight between USA and Pakistan. Of course, America can do a lot to us, but I assure you that America's safe passage from Afghanistan can be guaranteed by Pakistan only. Right. Otherwise, it will briefly, be like Saigon. I also want you to touch upon very briefly, we've just got two minutes left, that uh, reportedly Mullah Umar and Haqqani Network supported the idea of talks with the Taliban, but now uh, uh, Burhanuddin Rabbani is no longer there. So can we talk to the Haqqanis at the same time and go after them also as uh, the United States is suggesting? No, you see, uh, the militancy must go. It has to be negotiated. Whosoever is uh, uh, adhering to militancy, whether it's Hakani, whether it's Mullah Omar, we should go after it. All right. We should go after Okay. It. And very briefly, uh, the credits are rolling, uh, Mr. Chaudhary. Uh, what should Pakistan's reaction be? Because we've seen uh, the highest authorities coming into action. Briefly. I don't think there'll be a need for any, any kind of reaction. I think uh, uh, better sense will prevail and things will stabilize between That's Pakistan and the US. Okay, so relations uh, between uh, Pakistan and the United States uh, seem to be hitting new lows. But the two have cooperated in the last 10 years over a number of issues. And uh, let's see how they manage their relationship at this time. I thank my guests, uh, Colonel Retired Khalid Muni, Defense Analyst, and uh, ABM Retired Shahzad Chaudhary for participating tonight. Also, a special thank you to Mr. Michael Cohen in New York and Sadan and Dume in Washington, D.C., and my colleague from uh, Washington, uh, D.C.'s Voice of America headquarters, um, Raza Nakhvi. My name is Vakas Rafiq, and thank you very much for watching the platform. Good night.